Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone and welcome to another segment on the bench. Today I'm going to tie you up a little mayfly emerger. It's a great little fly, scruffy little rascal here. Looks very, um, very good in the water. Uh, it's got all the components I like in it. In a, an emerger fly, that's a very vulnerable uh, part of the hatch. When you see mayflies popping off, the trout are really not uh, uh, having uh, any rings. They're basically a porpoise a rise. That's what they're on as emergers. So you don't want to be throwing dry flies. You want to be just below the surface or in the surface fill them with this fly here. So let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. Start, I'm going to be using a Gamagatsu size 14. This is a uh, barbless VI, but it's uh, an emerger style hook. It's got quite a nice shape to it. It's very light wire. Um, the tail material, I'm going to be using uh, some partridge hackle. For that, I'm going to be using some brown 8 dot or tan 8 dot thread, I should say. The um, Body on this fly is going to be some hand, antron, hairtron, I should say. It's a natural hairs ear for the rear. And then I've got a golden and tan blend. I, I just mixed the two. I did, just didn't want it too gold. I didn't want it too, just darken it up a little bit. So it's got a little more uh, for the thorax, you want a little darker. The underwing, I'm putting a CDC puff on the bottom of that. And over that, uh, for the flash, I'm going to add some of this beautiful Semperfly Crystal Flash. And this is a very fine flash, like a midge flash. Very super uh, thin. Got a really nice uh, glint and qualities to it. So let's uh, get a hook in the vise here. And get started. A lot of times we see fish working up top. Everybody's reaching for their dry flies. And they're not working too well, that's because of fish around emergers. This is a very, very fine wire hook, so it's not going to sink. You don't want any, you want to keep this up in the top few inches or even in the film. Wrap that on, get our start there. We'll grab one of our partridge feathers, come along here. Grab a few for my tail. Seems about right. Oh, another material I forgot to tell you about, which we'll get to right now, is some Semperfly Pretty Gun Body Iridescent Copper Mylar. Really nice, fine Mylar. Makes great rib. Used to use light wires and that for segmentation, but these little mylars are just really, really nice. You get some nice uh, qualities in the water as well. So now I'm just going to put my hair tron on here, get some of the hair antron peeking out, gives really nice characteristics in the water as well. So I'll get that started around the corner, work my body up. And then you'll see I got a little extra dubbing coming out now. A little heavier, a little more of a taper. And we'll just rib it with the uh, iridescent copper. Really makes a nice body, great effect in the water. Tie that off good. Then I'll bring myself a uh, CDC puff. These are just nice little guys they're ready to use. Right out of the bag. They look really, really good for the uh, the shuck as the uh, bug is starting to hatch. It's caught and it's having trouble hatching and that's why the trout target these. They're a pretty easy Easy target. So I want to 
kind of envelope around the top a little bit so you can see it around the edges. Then I'll come in with my uh, very fine Semper Fly or Semper Flash. Crystal Flash. Tight on the front. Up and down where my thorax would be. Cut those butts off right there. Good turns, got eight out. I can try to keep the CDC on top. And now I need my darker thorax. That'll be the darker blend here. This is just Sheraton. I didn't have the color I was looking for, so I blended gold and tan together and I got the coloration that I was looking for. Little coffee bean grinders are really good for blending dubbings and making your own. If you don't have the dubbing color, you can sometimes mix two or three colors together, or a lot of times you can throw a little synthetic for glint in there, it depends what you're tying. So I'll give myself a little thorax there. Pull that over the top, my crystal flash. I just want a little bit peeking out. And we'll get our couple turn whip finish is good. And we got that all on the top. Make sure it's up there where it belongs. Now I want to get in with something very small. Pick my thorax out a little bit. Just so I got enough to make it look like legs. A little bit more. And that's, uh, should replicate the emerger pretty good. And, uh, well, the fish are like this one's got a lot of the little attraction to it. It's got natural components when you look at it from the bottom. It's, uh, you won't win a fly tying contest with that. It's nothing fancy to look at, but it's, uh, Got, got all the ingredients to make a, an emerger work. It'll be probably sitting in the film more so like this. CDC will help it float a little bit. And a little bit of that thorax with the legs showing through. So it's a great little bug. Uh, Mayfly emerger. Uh, give this one a whirl. When you're out on your favorite water, you see the mayflies showing up. Fish it with a dry line. And uh, a lot of times when I'm fishing these, I'll, I even have clear uh, dry fly lines. So I, I like to use that too. So when I'm fishing still waters, I'm not uh, disturbing any of the fish with the colored, bright colored lines and retrieving. It's basically, you can, you can use your regular uh, dry lines though too. I'm just saying what I do. And get those little fibers out. I like them sticking down. In the water there they go scruffy little guys they look good so thanks again for tuning in sport fishing on the fly today and uh, we'll catch you folks real soon <laughs>